Hi, Ted Lasso fans. Welcome to Tori Talks with Dr. S. I'm Tori, and this is Dr. S. We have not been around for a while. Three months. Yeah, sorry about that. I mean, nothing crazy happened. It's just uh, we just want to take a little break, and then we're late to Ted Lasso because we were on a on well, holiday. Well, we had a holiday planned, yeah. and sorry, they didn't check with us first. Yeah. That would have been nice. The, the release date, yeah. so yeah. Uh, but it, I'm happy to be back. I am so happy that this is the video that we're coming back we with. We were waiting for the good shows to come back. That's what it is, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so Ted Lasso season three premiered, and um, we're just going to talk about episode one and two since we're a little bit late. So the first episode is called Smells Like Mean Spirit. It's a Nirvana <laughs> I reference. I love it. They're, okay, let me also say, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but their soundtrack is amazing. They're doing it more it, intentional, right? It's, yeah, and it's getting better and better each mm -hmm. season, so they're nailing it with all the songs. Okay, so, and of course their theme song. Did it just put you all back into the feels when you Are heard you it? Are you feeling this kind of sadness as yeah. you watch, though, because you know it's the end? Yeah. I kind of am still processing because I want to always love Ted Lasso, but I'm kind of distancing myself you yeah. know how you do that when you know someone's gonna leave and mm -hmm. so you're I don't I didn't like her that much anyways oh I know yeah. it's heartbreaking but I do like that they are going out on top mm -hmm. they're only doing three seasons they're not milking it yes. then there's just filler episodes and seasons yes. so I'm really proud of that and I have to say they they're not disappointing no. even just these first two episodes so we start with ted saying goodbye to his son i guess he was there for the whole six weeks i did not know what to expect with that opening shot because yeah. he just looked like he was a little scruffy and yeah I was like, is he depressed what's That's happening what I too. but i guess he's just chilling over the summer just having fun he doesn't yeah. really need to be perfectly shaven right but yeah, he has to send off his son, and then he has a little small talk with Dr. Sharon, which could have done more with Dr. Sharon. Would like to see her face a little bit more. Right, I know, but, but I like, like that they're uh, continuing the session. So is she out of town and they're doing like a telehealth services? I don't know, she's busy yep. with some mail. Mm -hmm. so it hope. seems like an ongoing, at least sexual thing, because yeah. he knew of Ted. Yes. And that he doesn't get off the phone easily. I love that. Yes. Yeah. I hope that we get to learn more about that. That can't be the only time we see Dr. Sharon. I really don't think so. I will so. protest. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about the thing I was dreading the most, which is Nate at West Ham United. So I think he's worse than ever, but obviously. But do you still have sympathy for him? There, I do in a little way because you see that he... He has some inner conflict going on. Yeah. Right? And that. it's like the more guilty he feels about what he's done, the more he has to repress that and then just be even more of a jerk. Wait, totally you sensed guilt? I didn't even I, sense guilt I, or remorse. I think he I think he has the inner turmoil and it, it's like a bully complex, right? Like oh. the way you were treated and then he's just like enacting the same thing. I don't know. I just know the self-hatred yes. is loud. It's yes. louder than anything. But yeah, I didn't like that when he was coming up the escalator and that woman greeted him and he ignored her. And yeah. then he has like the dumb, dumb line. It's oh, so, it's so cool. condescending. And he's treating people exactly how we sympathize for him when he was treated that way. Yes. Even worse. Yes. But I think because I know where he started, I, I still have the yeah. feelings for him. Where And we see his whole thing with like all he has ever wanted was his dad to say... I'm proud of you. I acknowledge you. Like you're you're good enough. Yeah. And he's not he's never been good enough for his dad, so he's never going to be good enough for himself. Mm. And you know, and then yeah. Well, that was a pretty um disturbing sequence was the press conference. Well, first of all, I have to say I totally audibly laughed when he started when they were like how's it going and he's like he starts reciting the getting to know you lyrics from the King and I. He's like <laughs> Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Anyway, I don't know why I thought that was so funny. But then I have to remember this is Nate, and he's just nervous. And so yeah. the hardest part was watching him kind of go into himself and, and, and want to reflect on those negative memories to get him in the mood. Yeah. The confidence. And then he spits. Yes, he typical. spits. It's like that spit, which was the first time so disgusting and you just wanted to like have somebody come wipe it yeah. but now it's like his thing that he does like to shake off all the negative yeah he just like spits on himself like that whole self-hatred in mm -hmm. the mirror thing mm -hmm. and then he like turns on the like the dark side mm -hmm. Ugh. oh it's so sad to see um and then rupert is really just pouring gasoline on it because on the fire because he well first of all he he dropped something about how he vacationed with the sacklers do you know the infamous sackler 
Family, I, I with knew the opioid. It, must, it must mean something, but I thought it must be like they're not allowed, obviously, onto in 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 the UK because they had to like, be offshore. Yeah, <laughs> Sacklers, if yeah, um, so. that's the whole. It doesn't matter. That's another. That's actually Michael Keaton was in the um, like a uh, mini series about oh, TV series about no, it. Anyway, the opioid crisis. Yeah, thanks a lot. Anyway, <laughs> I heard that and I was like, of course they would put him vacationing with Evil an people. infamous family. Oh, well, yeah, I know you might not get the reference, but anyone who's watched. Star Wars, Will, that whole circular window that's behind Rupert, uh-huh. it's so like the dark side, like oh, behind really? like, you know, Darth Vader in, in all the Star Wars imagery. It was like, you know, last year we totally like saw that parallel between like, you know, Darth Vader and Rupert and now it's like oh. they're using that round window as yeah. like a, you know, more explicit reference. I'm 39 years old and I've never <laughs> seen anything Star Wars, but I love it that you mm-hmm. guys catch it. I mean, it's probably very obvious. Yeah, this one I'm was pretty like, obvious oh. to me. Okay. I'm not that huge of a Star Wars fan. Well, um, Rupert is being his charming self uh, in his own vindictive way, and he buys Nate a car because he tows away the car, obviously <laughs> thinking it's not fancy enough, so he's yeah. like, he has to buy him one, so he's, I don't know, so he fits in with the team, but he does yeah. it in a snide, but still kind of charming yeah. way. Oh. It's, it's, he, God, I, I hate him, but I understand why it works, what right, he does work. because he has that, that way about him. Yep. The Riz. The Riz. Um, <laughs> and yeah. I still cannot get over that. That's Giles from Buffy. Okay. How? No, I can't. One of my I favorite can't. people of all I know, time I know. in TV history is no, just not. now the most despicable person not him. of all time. Up there with Joffrey. Oh, yeah. As people I hate. Oh, my gosh. He's not even, like, killing people, and I hate him. He's horrible. <laughs> he really is. Okay, well, then let's bring this back up, and let's talk about KJPR, Keely Jones. <laughs> um, so she is in a an office of pretty Funny. low energy people. So how? It so, doesn't make sense at all. She's so high energy. Yeah. And then all these people are like, and kind of tense yeah. or whatever. I think that they're doing this because she's going to have the Ted Lasso and Keely Jones effect, and she's going to bring these yes. people up to be like how Richmond, right. how they ended up. Yes. Right. So I think that's the reason to for that. To test her abilities, right? Yep. Yeah. And, and yes, exactly. To motivate a team. and like, Uh-huh. Yeah. Because it really, if you think about it, Ted Lasso obviously has been our biggest uh, influence and cheerleader, but Keely Jones has always been there, too. It, yes. her Her attitude has always been... Also shining bright. Yes. Almost as bright. Yeah. Maybe just as bright For as For sure. That. Yeah. So I think that's going to happen with that, especially with her CFO, Barbara, who's a little bit of a curmudgeon. So <laughs> I think it's going to, she's going to break through that. So, okay. Now let's go to Richmond. Um, so there is this really fun field trip to the sewer, sewer. London sewer system, because they're basically getting um, pooed on, or as Jamie would say, poop poop on. Um, so I guess that's like, that was a little bit of a stretch. I get it, like Ted Lasso, but that yeah. was, that was, was a little silly. It was, yeah, it was, I didn't, I didn't think that was the, the point wasn't yeah. too clear to me. I don't know, maybe he's just trying to move the energy too, because they're yeah. just stuck in their head, because everybody's saying that they're going to be the worst. They're going right. to be 20th or whatever. Yes. I don't know, is that how many there are? 20, because there is no 21st. Per Nate. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a really good thing here, though, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And Rebecca really wants Ted to fight back about all this negativity, and Ted's not going to fight back. That scene where she kept conflating Rupert and the team, yeah. like they, they, he, he, uh-huh, was uh-huh. so well done. Yeah, it sure was. But, you know, Ted is not going to play that game, and he had nothing but nice things to say about Nate. And he still came out as the winner like he fought by being ted yeah and then he still gets the he got everyone like nate was so mad yeah because he, he yeah he won by and being i know a that, nice guy and, and he nate wasn't trying win as a nice mm-mm, guy mm-mm. Nate no. had been a nice guy for a while but he couldn't win that way yeah. oh that sucks oh gosh oh man well, i didn't really think of it that way i didn't either keely told rebecca to let ted be ted and thank goodness yeah. She did. I mean, nobody's going to stop Ted from being dead, though. I was afraid that Rebecca was turning to the dark side again as oh. well, but hopefully now that she saw that Ted being Ted can be good. Yeah. You know, and he looks like he's going to try. I know. To win. He has to. He's it's he's never phased by any no. of this negativity. And no. he's just he's I know he's not even about winning, really. Right. So, he doesn't right. care. But Keely and Roy they broke up. Uh, I guess. It sounded like Keely said we're on a break when they were explaining it to Phoebe, but then he said we broke up. Yes. It, it, intentionally at the same time, right? Yeah. Said two different things. And I was trying to figure out, like, 
is it true that, or does Keely think they're on a break? Like friends. Yeah, I know. And, um, Roy thinks they're broken up, or did they just kind of miscommunicate how they were going to deliver that message to Phoebe? I don't know. Because Roy does seem like he's, like, black or white. Like, we're either together or we're broken up. There right. is no in-between break stuff. So, But mm-hmm. they both look pretty sad about it. So. They both look really sad. But, yeah, because we don't know what happened. It's kind of... really. No, we don't know how it went down. I wonder if blurry. there's going to be a flashback episode or some type of explanation. Well, it was implied, kind of, the way they left things when yeah. they were about to go on break mm-hmm. from the season. But right. it wasn't... Yeah. Yeah, Anything but they were like, official. see you in six weeks. We're going to be okay thing. Yeah. But then, yeah, I don't know. I sensed it, but I didn't, I don't, yeah, we don't we, really we, know. It was a question, because we all were asking, are they endgame? Yeah. Are they? Are they? Are they? Oh, I kind of think they have to Still, be. Yeah. It's it's looking yeah. like it. Well, yeah. then we'll move on to episode two, which is called I Don't Want to Go to Chelsea. Um, and we get to see a familiar face, uh, Trent Krim, because oh, he wants to write a book about. Trent Krim, independent. I can't even say it anymore. Can't even say it. He, he, but he yeah, is independent. Yeah, just independent. Not <laughs> he's, be independent. He's independent. independent. Exactly. So uh, I think it was hilarious when the team was instructed by Roy not to say anything <laughs> around him. They're so afraid of Roy. I love it. Yes. Well, he is like the leader and... Um, and even though Jamie will kind of, like, roll his eyes at him, he listens to him. Oh, That's yeah. his big brother, I'll pretty much. new hairdo. Oh, my gosh. Why does it work for him? <laughs> that actor. He he's so pull handsome. Off anything. He really can't, because it's really obnoxious, to be honest. I think if I saw it on, like, my husband, I'd be, like, stop. Highlights? But, <laughs> but with like him. boy band highlights. Yeah. Grown man. Really looks good. <laughs> um, anyway, so there is this whole thing with Roy and Trent, which I do like that, I guess, a long time ago when Roy... Oh, I shouldn't have said it like that. Well, but yeah. yeah, he Sorry. would really appreciate that. <laughs> hey, I'm like the age. Well, when he was 17, and what is he maybe now? 42? 43? Probably, right? Okay, near it's kind 40. of a long time yeah, ago. Near maybe. Late yeah. 30s to early 40s. Yeah. We'll give him 38 uh-huh. to 42. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going based on the actual actor, though. But, yeah, he said something hurtful, Mm -hmm. and he held on to that article clipping that long and confronted him about it. And Trent, I think, handled it very well. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah. I I was a jerk, too. Like, we were both jerks. Yeah. We both. Well, I just love that moment because he, it's a physical, like, embodiment of that we hold on to stuff. Yeah. That he could be, like, the whole crowd could be cheering his name. But, yeah, he holds on to that one little news clipping of Crazy. what somebody, uh, a journalist, said about him when he was 17. And that's that's affected him. It's on repeat. Yeah. Yeah. That's and all he thinks about. you know, when he later explains to Ted why he left Chelsea and why he never got to, you know, he wanted to leave before he wasn't good enough to carry the team type mm-hmm. thing. And he's like, maybe I should have just stayed and had fun. But he couldn't. Mm-hmm. Because he could have stayed and just been good enough, but he wanted to be, like, the best on a team. Mm-hmm. And so he's just kind of not really gotten to enjoy it. That's so true. That's so sad. And I, he says, I'm not the type, that maybe that's not me, and Ted said, not yet. I love it, because it's never too late. It is never too late. Change. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I do like that Ted was like, he would have never met me. And he, like, yeah. bats his eyes <laughs> all the stuff. And, and I have to give credit to Beard and all of his little, <gasps> his Oh, my size. God, so good. Like, when I find out that the Keely and Roy oh, broke up, and then Ted almost faints. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I know. I love all those Because we're all, he's, he's, like, doing what we're feeling. That's exactly just like, how what? we feel. Yeah. No. And right after there was that exchange of, I think, Roy was bringing Keely some stuff, maybe, that she left at his place, yeah. and then, like, she walks away, and you see Jamie looks like he's going to follow her, mm-hmm. but actually goes in to see Roy to see if yes. he's okay. Yes. I, th- I don't think it was 100% to see if he was okay. I think yeah. it was, yeah. but then I think... Maybe he was kind of like, is he going to be okay with me? I don't know. See, I wasn't thinking that. Well, I know Roy suspected that as well, but I don't know. I feel like time has passed now. Like, it's the funeral is what set off that whole profession yes. of love type thing. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I, I kind of am thinking maybe Jamie's ready to move on as well. I hope. I don't really want them to ever have a thing. I don't either. Yeah. I know. And I, friends. Yeah, and I don't think he wants to do that to Roy. I really do think he was checking on him, but yeah. I also think part of him was kind of like, I don't know. Maybe some autopilot thing with like, yeah. oh, she's available. But then. I mean, if you're in love with somebody, you don't just. Yeah. But I don't think he would do that to Roy. Yeah. And I actually, yeah, I don't want to see that either. No. I don't want there to be a Keely and Jamie. No. Keely and Roy. Yeah. Fingers crossed. It yes. just, when you see the somber looks that they have, I just feel like it's not over. Obviously, there's yeah. unfinished business. There's something, like they maybe made some type of rational decision about what's best, but yeah. it's not like following their hearts. Yeah. Because they love each other. I know. 
you know who else loves each other? Keely and Rebecca. Oh my gosh, we, I love them so much. We get to see that friendship again, mm. and it's it's like no time has passed. Even though, haven't we waited over a year for season three? Yes. And I really mm-hmm. miss them, and I miss their energy. I miss the mm-hmm. the support of women, yes. women supporting women. And um, and then also, what did you think about her hiring her friend as a, whatever you want to call it, consultant or whatever? Um I think she's trying to say, because a friend kept saying, Keely, you got out of it. You, you, yeah. you know, and you made something of yourself. So I think she's trying to help her. Yes. But I do feel like she's regretting it a little bit. Well, so Rebecca told her, like, to hire her best friend. Yeah. And so, but I'm like, is this your best friend, though? I huh. don't, I don't know. Rebecca's her best friend. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't, I, so I don't know if it's, again, me just being protective of my Ted Lasso. But I'm not about the new people right now. I feel the same way. Yeah, but why am I like this? Because Danny was new, oh, and he's amazing. Danny. I lo- and Dr. Sharon was new, uh, and I love her. But we were kind of like, wait, stop. No, yeah, back but, burner. But, back like, burner. the Shandy girl, mm, she I'm not so sure about her. I mean, she had a well, good decision. Well, she's not sure about her. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she made a good decision on that set where she had, like, a good cost-cutting device, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so she's got some skills. So maybe it is a good decision, but I don't know. But I do. I did appreciate uh, CFO Barbara yes. kind of pointing that out, and and then again Keely seeing her snow globe collection. Like she's gonna, humanizing her. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. I already yes. know it. That's gonna be a really fun office to work for <laughs> by the end of this season. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's talk about Zaba, this yes. Italian hotshot. Again, obnoxious. Yes. Uh, and Rupert and Rebecca are both vying for him. I guess the whole everyone, every football well, club wants him. Yeah. But it's going to come down to like, well, three, right? Chelsea and Rupert and... Yes, and then Richmond as well. Yeah, but Richmond. Richmond, I don't think, was ever on the table for Zava. Mm-hmm. But Rebecca does what Keely calls a sour yell. Instead Opposite of, of sweet, sweet talk. talk. I so love good. I'm going to use that. Who's not going to use that from I'm now totally, on? I love it. Love yes. It. All the Ted Lassoisms, mm-hmm. yeah, they, they're they the gifts that keep on giving. Yes. Uh, so I think that this is, he's one of those guys that appreciates the honesty mm-hmm. and someone not kissing his butt and being like a yes person yes. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So just kind of telling him like it is. Did you see it coming? Because I did. Yeah, for okay, sure. Okay. Because why, he, he couldn't really go to, well, why have him go to Chelsea? That's not ever going to happen. Yeah. And then go to Rupert. Well, it wouldn't really move the story forward if the... The favored team gets a really good player. Yeah. So it, it kind of makes sense for them to go to Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, but again, I don't want new people. <laughs> we have such great people. But I think the way they won me over as a viewer is that everyone on the team wanted him. True. So in that case, how can I go against the team? Yeah, except right. Jamie was like, oh, the fans are going to like that. And then you, you yeah. uh, they cut to the pub fans <laughs> with May. Yeah. And they're like, yeah! <laughs> now Jamie's got competition. So I bet there'll be a lot of humor with that, those two strong personalities, too. Because now who's more obnoxious and egotistical? Yes, and I will tell you, I like Jamie being Jamie. Being Jamie because mm-hmm. that's kind of how he started. He's yes. cocky, but he's got a softer side now. Mm-hmm. And um, I just like that everybody is still... Be staying true to themselves, but with a little bit of the Ted Lasso effect. Compl- yeah, because they've yeah they've they've they're more authentic. Yeah, they've let their themselves be vulnerable. The Ted being Ted, Jamie being Jamie, Keely being Keely. I think this is going to be an ongoing theme because yeah. that's what it seems. But but yeah, Roy's got a little growing to do or whatever. But I really think they didn't disappoint with these first two mm-hmm. episodes. I d- never thought they would, but it is hard yeah. after two insanely successful seasons yes. to come back with a punch, and I think they did. Right. Like, I think it wasn't as, like, usually I feel like it's just rapid fire. I didn't feel like it was as fast, like, full-packed with stuff. Like, yeah. it, sometimes you miss stuff. I mean, I might have missed stuff, but I felt like the, I didn't feel like, oh, I need to go back and watch like I used to. Yeah. But I think they're just laying the groundwork, you know, kind of reintroducing the characters in that first episode and then in the second episode giving us two new people and then there were also little events that happened like um henry revealing to ted that mom has a friend jake and that's going to be more of yeah of ted processing like the divorce right because that was really hard for mm-hmm. him so yeah we also got rupert's assistant uh that very serious oh, yeah. but i love when she was like it's a car yeah. Anyway. I like her person. So she's she's kind of new. <laughs> Barbara's new. There are some new people, mm-hmm. but... Yes. I know exactly what you're saying. With Shandy yeah. and with Zava, I was like, but no, no. Yeah. 
I don't, I'm not ready for yes. you. I'm not ready mm-hmm. for new people. Yeah, I totally yes. had that same feeling. Yes. But I'm feeling good about this season so far. Oh, what about Sam? What about Sam? I what? wasn't done with them. Okay. I was trying to find an interaction between the two of them. Nothing. Nothing. We Nothing. didn't see anything. Nothing. So, what? Nothing. So, the, and I just rewatched season one and two to refresh for our reviews. And the last they said to each other was, I mean, it wasn't like over. Mm. Right? She was trying to like figure out what's her deal. Is it still going on? It was no, they were not going on anymore because they were gonna not be together. But I feel like they just haven't gotten there yet. Like they have oh. to talk. You know? Like I feel like it will be addressed, but in the next, you know, yeah. episode. We, we have a because lot we more. haven't had any Sam. Mm. And he opened a restaurant. Oh yeah. We barely had any Sam. Yeah, it almost was, none. So we need some he Sam. Was more ensemble. Yeah. He didn't get like his own little No, we need story. Sam. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, but I, I like them together, especially upon the rewatch. Yeah. He is so good for her. Yeah. And she just needs to figure out what her issues are with, like, worthiness, mm. you know, deserving to feel loved. Yeah. And it doesn't matter that he's 21 or 22 now. Aww. Maybe 23 because a couple of years have passed. Oh, my gosh. Actually, I guess only two months have passed in the storyline. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, yeah. Sure. Oh, my gosh, yeah. We do have a lot of storylines to mm-hmm. wrap up or... We need some closure, I guess. I know. But um, so sad. my prediction is Keely and Roy, that's not over. I feel like they're going to end up back together. Oh, and I hope we see some of our, like, sassy. Love sassy. Oh, my Every gosh. Every time she comes sassy. on the show, I hope I hope we see more of her. Yeah, have yeah. to. Well, I did notice these episodes were, like, 45 minutes long, so thank you for spoiling us because thank this goodness. is all we're going to get. Yeah. This yeah. will be the last of mm-hmm. Ted Lasso. Please so. keep it up. Please, yes, indeed. All right, so these obviously come out weekly, so we will be more on time. We'll try to get these out as quick as possible. I hope we have some of our uh, viewers, our same viewers from last time, because you guys were so much fun to talk to. So much fun. Even our people from across the pond in the UK that made fun of us, the Americans, because we're stupid and silly. (laughs) Because we didn't think that the key was real. Oh, my God. The skeleton key. I love it. Please keep (laughs) making fun of us, because I think it's hilarious. Um, But anyway... Thank you for watching, and um, let us know what you thought about this episode and what you think about the season so far and what do you think is going to happen. Comment below. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. We missed you. Bye.